What's up, my friends? I am so stoked to be here today, coming to you from Buster the Bus on the coast of Oregon. We are making our way north towards Seattle and having a fantastic time doing it. Today, I'm talking about why we chose a schoolie over an RV. Here we go. Hey there, friends. We're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, Kenya, and Milo. We live for love and adventure. In November of 2017, we sold our house and most our possessions in pursuit of simplicity and freedom. Two months later, we bought a 2001 Bluebird school bus to make our home. After building out the bus for six months, we've been on the open road full time. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. We're stoked for you to join our journey and hope you enjoy watching our videos as much as we love making them. So hit subscribe and enjoy the adventure. All right, my friends, I'm gonna dive into the reasons why we chose a schoolie over an RV, but first I have just a couple of things to talk about. And the number one thing is, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are almost 5,000 subscribers at this point. By the time I publish this video, we will be over 5,000 subscribers. And we just started, just started being paid by YouTube. It took them forever to approve our account, but now we can make more videos and have more fun doing it, make them better, because we're actually being paid for the time that we're putting into this. And uh, we get to build a bigger community, hopefully, if I can continue to, to make stuff that people wanna watch. So my question for you today, down in the comments section, let's have a conversation. I wanna know, if you're a full-time travel family, or a weekend warrior family, or an individual, whatever, if you have something to leave your home in and go out and adventure, did you choose an RV or did you choose a school bus conversion and why? That is my question for you because I wanna interact with you, I wanna hear your ideas, thoughts, all of that kind of stuff. I by no means think I have all the answers, I love to hear yours. I also love just having communication with those who watch our videos. So anyway, that's my question. Did you choose an RV or a schoolie and why? And even if you're not traveling, what would you choose? And I'd love to know why. Anyway, let's get on with it. Anyway, let's get into it. Second, if you haven't already, go to our website, lovealwaysadventureoften.com. The cool thing about that is that my wife, Katie, is she posts blog posts on our website sporadically. So you can go and read her words. You get a whole lot of me and not a whole lot of her. She doesn't like the camera thing. So uh, go on over there, lovealwaysadventureoften.com and you can read her words. You can also check out some of the merch that we have on there, t-shirts, stickers, and coffee mugs as well. So go check that out. All right, adventurers, the first reason why we chose a schoolie over an RV I'm going to tackle is probably the biggest reason why we went the school bus conversion route instead of the recreation vehicle or manufactured RV is cost. Cost for what we wanted was astronomical compared to what we ended up building out our school bus for. So we ended up building out our school bus for about $20,000, just under $20,000. In the description below, I will link to our cost video. It walks through all the costs of building out our schoolie. It also has a link to our spreadsheet budget. So you can look at all of the expenses. I kept track, meticulous track of most of our expenses uh, in building out the schoolie. I may have missed one or two little things here and there, um, but, I, but I put it all in a spreadsheet and I published that so you can look at our expenses of building the, the school bus. But anyway, it cost us just under $20,000 to build out Buster and any of the RVs that we were looking at that were even remotely what we wanted, uh, we were looking 50, 60, 70 grand, even for used stuff. Um, stuff that could handle good terrain, had a decent layout, and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. Nothing that we saw, we loved the layout of. Um, but anything with a decent layout, uh, anything with power, anything that could tow, uh, all of that kind of stuff was just so expensive, two, three, or four times the expense that we put into the schoolie. Okay, next, I alluded to this a little bit already, but layout. We toured, I don't know, both online and in person, we probably toured anywhere between 20 to 30 different RVs. 
and none of them had a layout that we thought fit our family. Now, I'm not saying that they are all terrible. I Just listen to the words that I'm saying. They didn't fit our family in the way that we wanted to function. With a school bus, it's an empty canvas. We can build whatever we want, whatever layout we want, whatever we can imagine, we could build it out. So that was super attractive to us. We didn't feel like paying $60,000 for an RV that didn't function the way we wanted it to layout wise. And so building a schoolie, when we talk about a uh, layout, was a no brainer for us. We absolutely wanted to build something that fit our family. Quality, 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 quality. Let's talk about quality. Um, I think as we toured RVs and um, as I have grew up in RVs and, um, and have many friends that have RVs, these RVs are built really to only be used a couple times a year and really to only last a few years. And uh, the quality, at least from what we could find in, in an RV that fit our budget and our specs and our layout, which n actually none of them really fit our layout the, that we wanted, but they were all somewhat cheaply made. Now I'm being very careful here because if you're in an RV, I don't want to put down what you have and believe me, they're nice and they're expensive and all of that kind of stuff. And if they work for you, awesome. We just knew that a school bus is so well built. I mean, think about it. It's a giant vehicle that is built to carry children safely. And so I knew buying a school bus, we were buying something that was structurally sound. And then the interior is as structurally sound as I build it. I don't have to trust somebody else's work. I know exactly what I'm putting into it. I know how much I'm buying these components for and how long they should last our family. And if something breaks, it's my fault. I did something wrong in the build or, or didn't think through something correctly or something like that. So quality was a huge one. Um, outside of cost, quality was the second biggest deter uh, determinant of whether or not we were gonna go with a schoolie or an RV. Okay, my next one is mechanics. Um, not necessarily that the mechanics of the vehicle, the engine, the drivetrain, all that kind of stuff are necessarily better in a schoolie. However, I would argue, I mean, I, I didn't find any RVs with a Cummins diesel engine, Allison drivetrain, which are just like time tested, proven mechanical pieces of art. They're, they're beautiful. And uh, I didn't find any RVs with those components. Maybe they're out there. I have no idea. They probably are. Uh, they're probably way, way outside our budget. Um, but mechanically, I just think, you know, we found the school bus, we found the mechanics in the bus that we wanted. And that's really where we started when we were looking for a bus is what engine does it have and what drivetrain does it have? And are they time tested, proven, beautiful, beautiful mechanical pieces of art? And I believe that ours, ours are, and I couldn't find that in an RV that was within our budget. So there's a lot of qualifiers there. I know I'm being very, very dancy around this because I don't want to, I don't want to offend and I'm certainly not a mechanic, but I do know what we wanted and I couldn't find it in an RV. So mechanics, pff, awesome in a bus. The other thing I'll say about mechanics is simplicity. Our bus is old enough to where there's nothing really computerized at all. And so the simplicity of working on it um, granted, I don't know what I'm doing all the time, but I have worked on the engine already, hooked up some electrical things and had to troubleshoot some things. And mechanically, it's so simple. There's no computers. Uh, there's tons of space to work on it. I, I, I'm just, I'm happy with it mechanically. Next is the look. So for me, I have this thing, I like to make a splash. I love to look unique. That was a big turnoff for an RV. I haven't seen one that doesn't look exactly like the 15 others that are in the RV park that we're in right now. They either have the swirlies in grays and browns or the stripe, the three stripe in blues. I mean, there's just nothing not a lot of uniqueness unless you go Airstream or you know something like that. And then you're talking about the budget that we didn't want to put into it. So, so uniqueness is huge for me. Being able to pick our color was giant. 
um, not feeling like we shouldn't put stickers on it or decals or any of that kind of stuff. Just the unique look of a bus is a head turner. And every time we pull into RV park, every time we're driving down the freeway, kids are pointing, people are pointing, waving at us, all of that kind of stuff. And I just love that. I, I love a conversation starter. And that's exactly what our bus is. All right, finally, fun. We just thought a school bus would be much more fun than an RV. Uh, both in building it and traveling in it, we thought it would be much more of an adventure. Uh, there's not as many am amenities, everything's not as polished, and so we just thought it would be more fun. And honestly, uh, we haven't traveled full-time in an RV, but I think it is more fun. <laughs> and I'm biased, right? But that's my final point is, all in all, when we started looking into schoolies and we knew we were going to travel full-time, our original plan was to buy an RV. And as we looked at RVs and then we were introduced, in, we were introduced to schoolies, we just thought, man, this would be so fun to live and travel in something that we built as a family. And it absolutely has, there's a sense of pride, there's a sense of fun, there's also a sense of, uh, of worry, for sure. Because <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing when I was building it. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, uh, everybody else who is willing to put out valuable information. Um, but yeah, I mean, we just thought it would be more fun. And I think it has been. All right, my friends, so there you have it. Those are my reasons why we chose a school bus over an RV for our full-time traveling family. I'm sure you have some reasons and some thoughts on this as well. Please tell me if you are traveling and uh, you chose an RV, tell me why you chose an RV. Or if you chose a schoolie, tell me why you chose a schoolie in the comments. Let's have a conversation around it. As always, I want these videos to be a resource for people. I want them to uh, strike a conversation and strike some thought in people's minds about what they would choose. Even if you're not going full time, even if you're not buying anything, Tell me, what would you buy? Would you go the schoolie route or would you go the RV route? I want to know. Please don't forget, visit lovealwaysadventureoften.com. Check out Katie's blog post there and a couple of the cool things that we have for sale. Patreon.com forward slash lovealwaysadventureoften. We will love you forever if you uh, support our creations there. Just a couple bucks per video. And I only run one video per month through there. So anything you can do to help there is fantastic. And most of all, most, most of all, remember, love always, adventure often. Wow, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them. Don't miss a single adventure or bus moment. Make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know. We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often.